Ikaw. 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 Let us define first what are civil laws. Civil laws are part of the legal system that deals with people's relationships, property, and business agreements. In short, ito ay tumutukoy sa sistema ng mga prinsipyo at pamantasan na kinukontrol ang legal na relasyon at relasyon na itinatag ng mga mamamayan sa bawat isa sa kanilang privadong buhay. Halimbawa nito ay ang batas na nagbibigay proteksyon sa pagdita ng tour guide and tour participants and also between the hotel management and their guests. So, what is the relevance of civil laws to tourism? Civil law poses sustainable tourism for the country. Hence, it helps in promoting and providing a safe space for tourists and also the indigenous people residing in some of the tourist attractions. Did you know, a mountain range that covers one-sixth of the land area of Luzon, there are more than 100 indigenous peoples group distributed in these islands. The Philippines is the only country in Asia that uses the term indigenous people. In Cordillera, like any other indigenous territories, is rich in natural resources, but its indigenous people remains poor. The Cordillera people's diversity may be seen not only in their cultural differences, but also in their territorial claims made by each community. Focusing on its territoriality, Ile and Ilis are two notions. Ile can be defined as a common territory of the indigenous community. However, the basis for establishing borders is prior to possession, use, and development of the land. Between Ilis, territorial borders have been created and documented in people's collective memory. It is for these reasons that other laws, specifically the Republic Act 8371 or ITRA, the Indigenous People Rights Act, an act to recognize, protect, and promote the rights of indigenous cultural communities or indigenous people, creating a national commission of indigenous people, establishing implementing mechanisms, appropriating funds, therefore and for other purposes was instituted and implemented. The Republic Act seems to be a which a provision for the promotion and acknowledgement of our indigenous people's right, with the goal of conserving their culture, traditions, and institutions, as well as ensuring that all members are treated equally and without discrimination. A goal to preserve cultural integrity and to ensure that all members of ICCS IPS have an equal access to their rights and opportunities that the national laws and regulation provide to the other members of the population. Nowadays, this law gives our indigenous peoples an opportunity to make them feel that they are free to pursue their economic, social, and cultural development. Moreover, to let them feel respected when it comes to their values, practices, and institutions. And aside from protecting their land, civil laws protect the rights of people, especially at the local, the oldest tattoo artist in the world, which is considered as a tourist destination dahil sa pagsalang pusitahin ng ating mga turista upang masunipan ang permanente at kakaibang tatak o ukit na nagpapaalala sa kanilang katapangan at mapaunlan ang importansya nito sa ating kultura. The Ifugao people are known for their chants and unique musical instruments, which include the nose flute, buzzer, and zither. You may see this in action and watch dances and rituals at one of the region's colorful festival. Malaking tulong ang batas na ito, lalo na sila ay madalas na lamang may sasantabi ng basta-basta at ang diskriminasyon sa mga ito ay nanonormalize na lamang ng mga non-indigenous people. Ito ang mga kalagayan ay hindi na dapat magpaduloy pa. Ayon sa isang pananaliksik, particular na kinikilala ang karapatan ng kapitubong pamilya at komunidad sa pagpapanagili ng pinagsamang tumpulin sa paggabay, pagsasanay, edukasyon, at kagalingan ng kanilang mga atak, alinsunod sa mga karapatan ng mga bata.
National Attractions the Rice Terraces of Philippine Cordillera, a living cultural landscape for 2,000 years. They have contributed to the creation of landscape of extraordinary beauty that represents the equilibrium between humans and the environment. They are the product of knowledge passed down from generations to generations as well as the expression of holy traditions and a delicate social balance. Paano nga ba pinoprotektahan ng batas sibil ang rice terraces? These have been protected and managed through traditional ancestral land use management traditions of the indigenous Ifugao community. Sa tulong ng civil code, ito ay nagpapalayon na mas ingatan at pangalagaan ang great beauty that expresses the harmony between humankind and the environment. The civil law and rice terraces is continuously regulated to ensure the protection and enhancement of its environment. It is our national treasure and tourist destinations of thousands of Filipinos and also foreign visitors. The civil law protects the rice terraces in a way the human relations and cooperate between CTA or Cordillera Terraces Council to IRTCHO Cultural Heritage Office has been monitoring the budgetary, finances, properties, records, rights, and equipments chooses in this action and also other assets as well as liabilities, accountabilities covered by the civil service law which it has served as protection of our civil rights. From the previous law, may pakita natin sa ating mga indigenous people ang kahalagahan sa pagsuporta sa kanilang kultura, natural attractions, festivities, and tradition. Indeed, by the help of one of the laws in civil law, Republic Act No. 8371 ay nakatulong sa pagpunda ng mga lugar, hindi lamang sa kanilang pagsahiling oportunidad, kundi sa kanilang karapatan at pag-promote ng angking kagandahan at ganit bilang isang tinatawang na indigenous people. Sa kabuuan, ang batas civil o civil law ay nakatutulong sa pagunla ng turismo sa aspeto o usaping upol sa ating katutubo o indigenous people kung saan nahuhubog ang kanilang kakayahan ng walang pag-aanilangan o diskriminasyon na natatanggap dahil sa tulong ng mga nasa kontuparang batas na pangalagaan upang mas humabong at patuloy na pagtangkilik ng mga ating tourist ang ating sariling yaman at pinanggalingan. Because of civil laws, focusing on its property ensures peace and order between members of different societies either tourists and residents of certain tourist destination. If it is not for civil laws, we won't be enjoying our Philippine tourism as much as we enjoy it now.